To call Galina Jikaeva a volunteer is an understatement. The actress knows many soldiers by their first names and helps them by making sure everything they need is at their disposal. She says she's proud to see Odessa so united. But it's the opposite in her family. Her mother and her brother, a police officer, live in Crimea, which was annexed by Russia in 2014. In the very first days of the war, my mother told me that it was Americans who bombed us. My brother should be punished because he's a collaborator and supporter of this regime. I don't blame my mother. She is old. She doesn't have the same abilities anymore. But my brother is an adult, able to think. He didn't clean the streets. He served in the police. The war has not yet reached the town, but within Odessa, the wounds are already starting to show. On this beach, people are digging to place sandbags that will be used to reinforce barricades and checkpoints. Everyone gives the time they have, a few hours a day. Behind the smiles, the solidarity and nostalgic looks, Dmitry does not know when he will see his parents again, who have remained in the separatist territories of Donbas. Like when I was a child, many of people there, they supported Russia. Like, uh, and uh, after all the, after the invasion, my parents just became uh, very patriotic for Ukraine. They stay, they stay there because uh, they have like household there. In Odessa, there is, however, a minority keeping a low profile. Those who have no intention of resisting the advance of Russian troops. What I think of Russia has not changed today. I don't see Russia as an aggressor. I believe that in a month, maybe a little more, the military actions will stop and more reasonable people will take the place of our current leaders. For me, it's the defenders who are the danger, much more than the so-called aggressors. Alexander avoids the subject with his friends, but soon he says they won't talk to him anymore.